let's do a CVP analysis question. It says, Crystal Cruise Line offers nightly dinner cruises off the coast of Miami, San Francisco, and Seattle. Dinner cruise tickets sell for $50 per passenger. Crystal Cruise Line's variable cost of providing the dinner is $20 per passenger, and the fixed cost of operating the vessels, meaning depreciation, salaries, docking fees, and other expenses, is $210 per month. The company's relevant range extends to 14,000 monthly passengers. So they're asking us first to compute the contribution margin per passenger. Okay, so we have to think about how do we calculate contribution margin. And contribution margin is going to be equal to our sales. And it can be sales revenue, meaning in total, or it can be sales per item or per product. So we could do $50. Well, I'll show you here in a minute. So sales minus variable expenses. So there's two ways that we could calculate this. So we could say the contribution margin per passenger would be 50 minus 20, which is the variable cost, or $30 per passenger. Or we can do it in total, which would be the number of passengers um, times the, and we will see that I think as we get down here, uh, times the actual number of passengers. Okay, so the answer to question A here is gonna be $30 contribution margin per passenger. So we'll just put PP. What is the contribution margin ratio? And again, you have to remember how do we calculate the contribution margin ratio? So the contribution margin ratio is going to be equal to the unit contribution margin. And I'm going to abbreviate there, divided by the sales price per unit. Okay, so if we know the unit contribution margin per passenger is $30 and the sales price per passenger is $50, that means we have a 60% contribution margin ratio. So what we're saying there is 60% of our revenue um, will then get applied towards fixed costs. So part C says use the unit contribution margin to project operating income. So they want us to use the unit contribution margin to project operating income if monthly sales total 11,000 passengers. Okay, so we know, let's do C here, we know we're going to have 11,000 passengers and we know each passenger has a $30 per person contribution margin. So that means with those 11,000 passengers, we will have a contribution margin of 330,000. So this would be our contribution margin at 11,000 passengers. Now it says to calculate operating income. In order to calculate operating income, once we get our contribution margin, we just need to subtract our fixed costs, which happen to be 210,000. So that means $120,000 would be our operating income at a level of 11,000 passengers. Here's another way to look at it. It says use the contribution margin ratio to project operating income. Again, if monthly sales revenue equals 490. So in this case, they're giving us the sales revenue. We're gonna have to use that contribution margin ratio to calculate operating uh, income. So 490 is our total sales, that would be our revenue. Multiply that then times our contribution margin ratio of 60% and 490 times 60% is 294,000. Take the 294,000, this is our contribution margin then, minus the fixed cost of 210. This would be our fixed and that's gonna equal 84,000. So in this scenario under letter D, they're gonna give us the revenue and from that we can calculate our anticipated operating income. Okay, let's take this scenario one step further. It says use the information above to see what if they sell an additional 600 tickets 
by what amount will its operating income increase? Well, this is one of the neat things about contribution margin because once we know the contribution margin, which is $30, sorry, which is $30 per passenger, all we need to do is multiply that times the anticipated increase in sales, which would be 600 tickets. So if we sell an extra 600 tickets, that means we would have an extra $18,000 in contribution margin. But our expenses, our fixed expenses, would have already been covered by our previous sales. So we're just adding $18,000 to the bottom line that way. So um, that would be the answer. Thank you.